In this week's Freelancer Friday video where I show you ways of making more residual and recurring income in your freelance career, I'm looking at reseller hosting. Now while I've talked about reseller hosting very briefly in previous videos, I've never actually gone into too much detail. However, in today's video that's kindly sponsored by hosting.co.uk, we'll take a look at how to get started with reseller hosting and some of the benefits of using it. Well, reseller hosting allows you to create your own hosting packages that you can then resell to your own existing clients or new clients. You can easily brand this to match your existing company branding and provide a professional and consistent look and feel when your clients log into their hosting control panels. So instead of signing up for an affiliate program like you can do with many hosting companies and then only get a one-time commission or possibly a small percentage of that monthly value, you can create your own simple web hosting company or department. This then allows you to create custom pricing plans and generate income that's recurring. Now this income could easily grow from $100 up to thousands as your client base grows. This is one area that proved incredibly useful for me over the years and has provided a level of monthly security that I couldn't have done without in the early days of my business and freelance career. Now reseller hosting has a few quirks and a few specific things that you really should look into before you start with reseller hosting. That's what I'm gonna help you with in this video. So let's use hosting.co.uk who've kindly sponsored this video as our example today and see their range of different hosting packages. Let's start by taking a look at the usage options they include and use that information as the basis for choosing what level meets our specific needs right now. Now the web hosting plan gives you hosting for just two WordPress sites, but this can be scaled up to unlimited sites if you need it. However, you do need to take into consideration that you only get a single cPanel account. So if you want to give your clients access to their own cPanel environment and email accounts, you need a plan that offers more cPanel accounts to start off with. So the reseller hosting plan gives you multiple cPanel accounts. Here you have the option to create one account per user and create your own custom hosting packages. On VPS hosting though, you get a virtual private server. And this service is ideal when you have some heavy sites or applications. Also a lot of WooCommerce sites run on a VPS. Basically you get full control, but the main consideration here is that you also need to maintain that server. So it means you have to be a bit more knowledgeable in server management. If that's not you, maybe this isn't the best option right now. Another consideration are dedicated servers where you get full access to the server but you need to manage this as well. Of course, the hosting provider may also offer server management for a small fee, and that's worth considering. So let's choose the reseller hosting plan option and get started. Now, if we take a look at the features of the reseller hosting, we can easily see what each package offers us. Under the pricing of each plan, we can see the resources available, and this is important to understand so we choose the right option to start with. Now the reseller hosting plan should give you full control over how each of the packages you sell to your clients will look. The best thing here is that you don't really need too much technical knowledge to get started. If you stick with me throughout this video, I'll take you through all of the key things you need to know to get started. I'll show you how cPanel and Web Host Manager or WHM works. If you don't already know though, cPanel is the world's leading control panel because it automates the hosting platform and enhances the user experience. There's a good chance that if you have a client that you want to move over to your hosting, they already use cPanel, and cPanel to cPanel migration is super easy. Just one click and you migrate a complete website, DNS zones and emails to your reseller package, and then you can start generating recurring income from your client, as well as be in full control over their hosting. Now this level of control has saved my bacon personally on many different occasions where a client has a huge surge in traffic and I needed to manage their account resources. WHM makes that incredibly easy. Once you spend a little time with it, you'll very quickly get to grips with it and having more control over each client's account is incredibly useful moving forward. The difference in the packages is shown in the disk space and the number of cPanel accounts included. The accounts are basically just different clients. So in the first package, you have 10 different clients on the hosting. The second account ups this offer, more storage space and 25 cPanel or client accounts. Now for me, to get started, the first plan will be more than enough. When I have more than 10 clients on my package, I can then easily upgrade in the back end of my hosting panel to the next level or go beyond that. 
So the first thing I need to do now is to start the buying process. Here I can choose if I want to buy a domain to use with my reseller hosting plan or transfer an existing one. So let's choose to register a new domain and do a quick search for something that makes sense in this scenario. Let's do a quick search for something like wptutsreseller.com and if that's free, I'll grab that right away. Sweet, that is actually available. So I'll quickly register that and we can go on to the next stage. Next up, I want to add a private name server so my clients don't see where I'm actually buying my hosting from. The option to add WHMCS, a fully automated billing system, is optional. If you'd like to know how you can set that up and fully automated hosting with WHMCS, easy for me to say, let me know in the comments section. If there's enough interest, I'll take a look at making a video about how to do all of that. Now use the code WPTUTS in the checkout to get 50% off your hosting. So now we've purchased our reseller hosting package, it's time to go ahead and set it all up. Before logging in to the back end, let's do some basic business planning. What packages am I going to resell? How will my extra income look? How will I invoice my clients for it? And the most important, how am I going to go about selling it? So let's open up a little spreadsheet to figure out what hosting packages I want to create for my clients. Once I have this, I can roughly estimate how much revenue I can make. So in this package, I can utilize a maximum of 10 accounts with 25 gigabytes of storage in total. I want to offer different hosting plans to my clients. Some of my clients have only one website and others need way more. So I came up with this basic setup. The first is to get my clients on board. And once they grow their online business, they of course need to be upgraded to the next plan. When I hit the ceiling of my current reseller plan, I can easily upgrade to the next plan as well and allow me to take on additional clients or create more comprehensive packages for my existing clients. For the prices, I looked at the specifications and prices of where most of my clients host their sites now and adjust my pricing to be just a little bit cheaper. If you'd like to have the Excel sheet to find out what prices your competitors made and how I calculated my hosting, you can find that over on hosting.co.uk's website and I'll add a link to the description so you can check that out. So now that we have the plans all figured out, I can either add a new section to my website or simply inform my existing customers that I can provide them with hosting. Now I found that most business owners just like one point of contact for their website. So most of my web design clients use me personally to manage their hosting for them and proved a great resource of residual income over the last 10 to 15 years. So now that we've gone ahead and created our hosting account, our reseller hosting account, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to the control panel and then log in to WHM and create our packages for our clients. So inside the hosting.co.uk dashboard, you can see we have an option to log into the WHM. We'll open that up in a new tab. And this is where you're probably going to spend a large amount of time. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and create our first package. Now, if you're not sure what a package actually is, all it is is just a set of account-based limitations. So in other words, the amount of storage space they have, the amount of email accounts they have, those kinds of things. So let's go ahead and add our first package. We'll give this a name and we'll call this Hosting Micro. We can set the storage space on this. We'll set that to 1024 and we'll set the bandwidth limit to 9999. So this is just the amount of megabytes that you're going to allow to go through any month. So then we can say we want to limit the number of email accounts. We'll say they have a maximum of 10, for example. And then we'll just go through and say we'll have five SQL databases. So they can have five different databases running on there, which could be quite useful. If you want to limit the number of subdomains, you can do that. We'll say this is a really basic account, nothing too extreme inside you. And we'll say max add-on domains, for example, two. Now, you can obviously set this up any way that you want. And what I would normally tend to do, and what I've done in the past for my own clients, is I create a series of different accounts for the different usages. So someone that might have a really small site that has small amounts of traffic, we can put them on quite a low plan. Another site that may be quite high traffic, requires a lot of resources, those kinds of things, then you want to give them a higher plan. Now we can leave all the settings as they are. They're perfectly fine. And all we need to do then is click on the add option and that will now create our first package. So once you finish creating your first account, if you want to go ahead and create more, you can do that by coming back to your home section. And if you want to make changes to one you've created, you want to update it in the future, for example, or you just made a mistake, you want to change something, you can simply come into the packages option and you can edit a package. So we can open that up. There's our package, we can hit edit on there and all those options are back for us so we can start to make any changes should we want to. 
So that's pretty cool. What you can also do is you can brand and create a custom cPanel lookout for your clients when they log in. So if we come up to the cPanel option on the left-hand side and open that up, we have a customization. We open that and we can now start customizing this with our own logo, our own custom help links, documentation, those kinds of things. So let's have a little bit of fun with this. Let's just change this to WP Tuts Hosting Inc. Help link if you want to drop that in, if you have a dedicated help or support thing. And the same goes for documentation, you can do that. We can browse for our own custom logo. So we'll just use my WP Tuts one for this example. And if you want to drop in a different webmail logo or your own custom favicon, you can do that inside there as well. And we can even customize the style to make sure that the styling is all the way that you want. And you can see we've got some nice looking predefined layouts for us to choose from. And we can then just choose to download any of those styles. You can see we can cPanel provided, system provided or reseller provided. So there's lots of options to choose from and we can set whatever we want as the default. So we'll say we'll set that as default. That now becomes the dark mode default layout for all our clients. So all pretty cool. If you want to come to public contact, you can come in here and you can put the public contact information inside there as well. Now let's just quickly save those options and have those committed. So we've customized the cPanel accounts now for any of our end users when they log in. Now the next thing you're going to want to do once you set up packages and you have new clients come on board is to set up their accounts for them. So to do that is really easy in WHM. All we need to do is go to account functions and inside there we've got an option that says create a new account. Let's just choose that and this then allows us to go through and set up all the things we need to do, the domain, the username, the password and so on, but also gives us information about our current state of the server that we have, that we're using, it's our reseller plan. So you can see number of accounts, one out of 10, disk space, two out of two and a half thousand and bandwidth, nothing's being currently used. It also tells us the number of packages that we have underneath and how many accounts are using those particular packages. So you can see, there's our hosting micro that we just created. And you can see currently there are no accounts using that. So let's just take a look underneath now. So this is the first thing we're going to need to do, which is go ahead and set up the domain information. So let's drop in the domain for our client's website. And you can see what will happen is it'll automatically create a username for you, which you can change if you want to, which I would generally recommend and use something a little more difficult to actually remember. Drop in a password and you can use this password generate if you want to, to generate a password and you can come into advanced options and you can configure how you want the password to be generated, which can be very, very useful. And once you've sort of got that, you can say you want to copy that password from there. So we'll copy that, we'll use that password. That will drop the password in for us and then we can just drop in the email address. Now, I would generally recommend that you use the email address for your client because they will be notified then if there's any kind of problems with their account, they're getting close to their usage limits, those kinds of things. So this keeps them updated. Generally, it's also probably recommended to have a dedicated email address for your client to have just those warning notifications and let them know just so they don't get scared when they see an email saying there's a problem or they're getting close to their limit of their bandwidth, those kinds of things. Always really useful. Next up, then we can choose the package. So we've already got one package created, but if you have more packages, they'll all be listed inside you. So we'll choose this package as our option. And then we've got some more options underneath. We don't really need to configure these kinds of things. We can leave them as they are. They will work perfectly fine for most use cases. And so once we finish there, we can simply come down and hit create. That will go through the process of creating that new account, setting everything up for us. And once that's completed, we'll have all the information for the account ready. There we go. There's all the details for our new account all set up. Now, it's generally quite useful to keep a copy of this on your system somewhere very, very safe. So you've always got information should you need this to get back into your client's site. Now, if you're setting this up for a client and you want to get started straight away by uploading all the files you want, setting up WordPress, those kinds of things, you can simply hit the go to cPanel option on the top right hand side and that'll log you into the cPanel. And as you can see, this has picked up the style that we set up for all of our new cPanel accounts. So we've got the dark mode active, which looks pretty cool. Alternatively, when you're coming back in at a later date and you want to access your client sites, you can simply come into your WHM. And if we come into the accounts, we go to account information and we'll just list accounts. You can see there's all of our accounts and all we need to do is click on this little CP icon and that'll then take us into the same location for our site. So you can see there's our branding at the top. So we're branded as WP Tets, the hosting and everything. So all the things we've set up so far are all now in place.
Now the beauty of using something like cPanel is it makes the whole process of installing software incredibly easy. So for example, if we scroll right the way down through all the different options, you can see right at the bottom, we've got the option for the Softaculous app installer. And we have WordPress in there along with an absolute boatload of other options. So if you want to install WordPress on this particular domain, all we need to do is click on WordPress and then we can go ahead and we can install this. It'll be the latest version in general use. And if you want to install themes and things like that, you can do that at the same time. Let's take a look at how easy it is. Let's hit install now. You can see pretty much everything is pre-filled out for us. We can make changes to anything we want in here. I would always recommend changing the admin and potentially the password as well, just to make sure you've got something a little bit more secure. And if you have to change the admin email address as well. So I filled up my details. If I want to go ahead and make any other changes, like the version of WordPress we're going to install, I want to put it into a directory, I want to enable multi-site, limit the login, classic editor, those kinds of things. All those options are there for me. I can come down, I can choose a start in theme if I want, open up advanced, and you can see there's even more options inside you. Should have full control of everything you need. We'll say I'm happy with everything there. We'll hit install and that'll go ahead and install WordPress with all our settings ready for us. So that's gone ahead, set everything up. If I want to tweet and share with my friends, I can do. And there's all the necessary links now to allow us to access our new WordPress website. So all very, very simple to do. And that's just showing you with WordPress. It's as simple as that with all of the other options. And as you can see, looking at the left-hand side, there's an awful lot of options you can pick and choose from. So there we go, that's how we can take reseller hosting and we can start to create residual income streams from our existing or from new clients as they come on board. As always, all of the links for everything I've covered are in the description below. And if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback, please leave those in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.